What's up, YouTube? Today I introduce to you Orbital Resonance, which is by far my most ultimate content bank for Cytrons. The reason I say that is because there's a little bit of something in there for everybody. Whether you don't have Faceplant and don't have Bitwig, there's even something a little bit special there for you. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive in and have a look. So at its core, Orbital Resonance is a content bank for phase plant. It consists of a hundred presets ranging from bass to leads to one shots to pads to sequences and sound effects. So one thing that I've done a little bit different with this pack as opposed to packs in the past is I've done a gold bundle, which essentially consists of a Bitwig project alongside the phase plant content bank. The Bitwig project is basically the demo track which I used uh, for this content bank and it uses most of the sounds that are in the bank alongside a couple of other extra samples which you will obviously get with the project. If we have a look at the folder that comes with the gold bundle, you'll see that you com it comes with the Bitwig project, but most of the sounds in the project have actually been rendered down to audio as well. So you can actually just drag those into any DAW. You don't necessarily need Bitwig, but also you don't necessarily need Phase Plant. You can use any of these sounds without Faceplant. You can just load them in as samples. So essentially, with the gold bundle, you've got everything that you need to create a track, from the kicks to the snares to the hi-hats to all the drum sounds, some extra sound effects, and then of course all the presets that come with the bank. So I've also created a demo for the bank, which basically has 10 of the presets, and that's available for free on my store. So if you're not planning on grabbing the bank, there's still some free stuff there that you can check out. I also wanted to mention that for the first month, the gold bundle will be on sale for the same price as the regular one. So you may as well just grab the gold bundle. You've got some extra samples there that you can use regardless of whether you have Bitwig or not. And then as usual, in case any of my Patreons are watching this who haven't seen any of the notifications and stuff that I've put on the various platforms, uh, there's the usual Patreon discounts for this bank as well. Okay, so quickly to begin with, I want to run through a couple of the sounds from the demo pack, just for those who maybe just want to check out what there is, maybe you want to grab the pack for free. Then what we're going to start doing is we're going to look at some of the more complex sounds that are in the full bundle, and we can start to craft a track. Okay, so like I said, there are 10 presets in the demo pack. Let's go through some of them. So this is actually one of my favorites from the pack, Andromeda. This is like a almost FM sounding uh, lead, great for melodic parts. So I'm going to play this alongside the demo track so you get a kind of feel for what you're getting with the project as well. The next one is Arcus. So in the pack, like the main pack, you'll notice that there are kind of six categories, bases, grids and one shots, leads, pads, sequences, and sound effects. So the reason that grids and one shots are kind of separate to the leads is they have like different kind of modulation. So they're generally better for long held notes in a kind of grid like fashion. And generally for stuff like that's on the root note, not too heavy melodic stuff. <laughs> In fact, you can hear this exact sound in the track already in this part. <laughs> you hear that? Okay, so the next one is kind of like a pad, but this is really cool for sweeps. If you automate the sweep volume parameter over here. Okay, 
then we have a crazy R2D2 inspired sound effect. <laughs> Most of these sound effects, which have a really kind of crazy pattern, which are, is very randomized, I've added a gate so you can kind of get it to trance gate. So it sits a little bit better on the grid. Okay, the next one is a bass sound. I'm gonna leave that because we're gonna go through all the bass sounds a little bit later. Then we have an acid inspired lead. Something that's a bit different from in this that I kind of got from the SH-101 in fact, because the SH-101 has one of these octave switches and the 303 doesn't. You can get this really cool kind of like uh, plinky sound when you modulate these octave switches very quickly while playing the sound. Okay, the next one is like a, a call type of lead. So this one excels at like a main hit at the beginning of a kind of bar. I guess this one is kind of inspired a little bit by the old school scuzzy-ish guitar. The next one is a cold ambient pad. Well, then we have another bass sound. I said we're going to get into those in a little bit. Then we have the wobbly FM sequence. So I really like this one because it's one of these, what I call granular loopers, in that you can either sequence it. You see here how it goes through the sequence. And in fact, you can actually open this LFO and we can change the sequence by ju simply just, you know, uh, dialing in a different pattern over here. So we can create our own unique sequence for this FM pattern or we could randomize it using this parameter over here. And then using just the other macros and stuff, we can kind of play it to get all sorts of glitchy textures. <laughs> Okay, that's another one of my favorite ones. <laughs> really, really cool sound, that one. Anyway, so that's it for the demo pack. I want to have a look at some of the special, kind of more complex sounds in the full bundle. So this is another one of my favorites. This one is a kind of gated vocal. I've actually teased this one quite a few times in streams. <laughs>
So I want to show you some of these sequences. So some of these also work on that kind of granular looper thing that I was talking about, where like these ones, for example, are what I call auto grid generators. So these are a bunch of grid sounds in a loop, and then the granular looper basically randomly sequences what sound is being played. So essentially, you just hold a note and it generates a complete layer of grids for us. So that could be like the basis to start a whole track from scratch. In fact, what we'll do is I'm going to remove this uh, project file and then I'm going to drag in some of the samples. You know, so say hypothetically, just say hypothetically, like you don't have Bitwig. Say, for example, this is Ableton or this is Fruity Loops or whatever the case is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag in some of these drum sounds from the pack. Say, for example, like a snare over here. Let's drag it into, okay, that's a kick. It just hasn't really been named. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> some of these other sounds over here we can just drag in. And now we can start creating our own track just using that inspiration that we quickly got from that auto loop generator. Okay, so I just want to set those so that they don't tune. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to duplicate that and we can look at some of the melodic sequences. Cool. There's also the squelch sequence, which is really cool. What you can do is you can actually draw in your own squelch patterns. Okay, so I want to quickly explain this effects wash situation over here. So what I've done is for a lot of the uh, patches in the bank, 
they share an FX rack called FX washers. So what this is, is it's like my usual utility effects, stuff like delays and reverbs and similar things like that. And they're all set up in a send configuration as opposed to an insert configuration. It allows you to mix it in and then mix it out and the tail carries on going. So it's really cool for creating transitions and that kind of thing. But also you can just remove it if you don't want any of the effects using the effects mix, which is like the overall mix of all of the effects. There's another cool thing built in here called random effects. What this does is it basically, let me pop this open so you can actually see. If we turn this up, it actually rides the gains of all of those sends randomly. So it basically just creates this random textures of effects if you need them. The reason why I kept them all with a similar effects rack is so that it's just easier to understand. You know, if you see these effects and you don't want them, you can quickly just remove them. So often with these kinds of things, I want this lead to be like a response to a call. So let's have it like on the second beat. And then here we can have like a one shot. You know what I mean? I feel like that's often a really nice way to kind of like, I don't want to say like set a rule, but like to be able to say like, okay, if we just do this, most of the time it's going to work. Then you can deviate from that, you know, but to just have a kind of like idea in mind already just helps. Do you know what I mean? So like, for example, Let's do a long root note here, whomp, and then we have the other lead sound. And then we just loop this. Then we have this call and response from the one shot and the melody. And also, now that we've kind of split it up, another reason why it's cool to have these things in different categories or different folders is because now I can just cycle through all of these leads using the arrow keys over here. And it's always going to land on something that's probably gonna work in this context. And likewise with this. So now we can just cycle through these presets and see which one is gonna suit on both sides. You know, Let's just make these a bit smaller. crazy how we just threw that together in like a couple of minutes just based on a little inspiration that we got from one of those presets so now let's look at some of the other bass sounds and then i think that's about it
Awesome. That's about it for today, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you are thinking of picking up the pack, then huge thanks for the support. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.